I'm leaving. I'm heading out. It's a sad day. I'm um, gutted, to be honest. It's nice here. It's like a nice homely environment. I feel like I've got friends and families here. But um, next chapter's exciting too. So, yeah, it's like a bit sweet, to be honest. It's a bit sweet. But I've got like four weeks afterwards. So um, I can always come back, right? So yeah, the plan today is to, uh, I've got two days now to get to LA from um, Santa Fe, which is where I still am. So I've got two days to get there. I'm not sure how I'm going to play it, to be honest. I'm not sure what the weather's going to be like or anything. So I haven't actually booked anything. I can, I'm going to get to the Petrified Forest, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, so bright. I'm gonna get to the petrified forest which is about four hours away and then see how I feel because I can either camp there or I can stay in a hotel there no hostels or I can go another hour and a half to get to Flagstaff which is my halfway point oh and I'm doing it all via the 66 yes so look at that how on earth am I supposed to eat that look at the size of it in comparison to my hand look I'm never gonna eat it all yeah, I ate it all. Now I've got a gut full of food, I can carry on with my day. I've just moved into another time zone. I'm now eight hours behind, um, which is the most I'm going to be throughout my trip. Um, what was I going to say? Yes, yeah, so I'm at the I'm at the forest. Um, I haven't gone through the gates yet, but by the looks of it, it's like a safari type thing, and it takes, I think, about forty minutes to get through it. So. Um, I'm just going to get some fuel and then um, let's go on a little tour. Wow. Wow. This is Arizona, by the way. Wow. I am absolutely living the dream right now. I am riding around these wi lovely, windy, smooth roads and stopping every like, I don't know, it feels like three minutes for the most spectacular scenery that I've ever experienced. Look, it's just mind blowing. I'm just riding through this and around it. My motorbike, the tent on the back. that that is a fossilized tree it's been uh, crystallized into quartz I feel like I haven't told you this for a while so I'm gonna say it again it's freaking hot it's 37 degrees again it's hot look at that rock that's got my name written all over it Woo. 
my god. Shit. Who would have thought the world was so big? Where I am. So yeah, I'm on. I followed it from um, New Mexico, Albuquerque to here. I don't actually know where here is because I turned my sat nav off. Such an easy road to follow. Like pointless even having it on, wasting my battery arguing with my stupid little um, adapter thing. Can't be asked to argue. Well I've got to say, for a motorway, it's interesting. There's a lot to look at. Oh, I wanted to tell you about the um it's a bit morbid, but the roadkill on Route 66. So first of all I saw a raccoon, which I guess you'd expect. Then I saw something that looked like a sheep, bearing in mind there are no sheep. Well, I haven't seen any anyway. Then I saw a dog. Yeah, it gets worse. Um, I saw something else that looked like a dog, but I'm not sure. And then I saw a dead horse, like a proper a uh, 14 hand, 15 hand high, dead horse, side of the road, guts hanging out. Mm. Don't tell you about that in the books, do they? just randomly ends. This is the old 66. So I've just come from that way. That's the new one, that's like the 40. But yeah, you come down 66, the old one, and then suddenly that's it. It ends. Oh, wow. It's, uh, it's, what time is it? It's 20 to 8 in the evening. Um, and I have literally just landed at my campsite. Well, to be honest, it's not even a campsite. It's just um, one of those dispersed camping things I found on, um, on the internet. I've got a choice of two spots. But um, one gives me a direct view of the sunset, which be, would be amazing. But this one that I've picked gives me a bit of shelter from people, really. So, so this is where I am tonight. I'm thinking I'm just going to set up camp there. But I have got 
a view, a bit of a view of the sunset, a little peak there. And I am literally <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. I'd be surprised if I see another person. And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that I'll get a nice view of the stars tonight. So I haven't actually experienced the starry skies yet. Well, that's it. That is my setup. I'm not putting anything over it. I'm not putting the sheet over it. I'm not even pinning it in. There's no breeze whatsoever. Don't even need a sleeping bag. We've just got a tiny little thing. I've got another sleeping bag just in case it gets cold, but my view out my window. Got the sunset. <laughs> Shit's getting real. Oh, you should have seen how much sand I had to sweep out of it, by the way. Fucking loads. Look how bright the moon is. It's crazy. It's actually casting shadows. That's the sun. That's the moon. <laughs> 